Hey everybody, it's Cardboard Jesus with you, welcome. It is the second edition of our 2016 Topps Signatures Archive, our Archive Signatures Box War Winner Style thing. Come this way. No Blink-182. No Blink-182. Alright, so here is the second half. Let's get it all, all up in here so we can see everything. I, I count it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is how I, is how I'm gonna is how I'm gonna do that. Let me go ahead and do this too. One of those. One of these. These and moving into my second note sticky pad. This one, no, Blink One Eighty Two sucks. I mean, let's. I mean, if you're like a if if you're a troubled teenager, I guess not. But I am not a troubled teenager. Just in my mind. Just in my mind. Eight will be our random number, and again, I'm just as, as I counted through the. Uh, well, I mean, listen, we're not. Uh, I don't mean it's so much like troubled, but you know, just like questioning the ways of the world as you're, you know, expanding your place in the earth and whatnot. All right, eight times is going to take us through this. Five, six, seven, and eight times. If you are unclear on what I'm doing right now, it will become crystal clear in just a moment. Uh, yeah, I do like the Coldplay. Actually, I saw Coldplay like a, at an outdoor arena in, it's like West Palm Beach kind of here. One of like the top three shows that I've ever seen. And this is the number here. Now, let me show you what we're talking about. Let me show you what we're talking about. A Coldplay song was actually the uh, first dance song uh, at, my, at my wedding. So, you know, there's that. Okay, so this is everybody's assigned box number. I'm going to sort it by the box number so we can go through it uh, relatively easily. Yeah, I mean, it was like, I mean, they had like just stuff in the crowd. It was, I don't, oh, it was a scientist, I think. I think it was a scientist. All right, so we're, again, we're just going to go through them one through 10. This is not hyper complicate things, and we'll start then with, uh, with Rich. Let's see if we can get some uh, new guy. New guy mojo action going on. Interesting. 40 out of 56. So I'm going to venture that this does not win the war, but still a pretty cool card for the Boston Red Sox. Tom Gordon. I I could be thinking of the of the wrong song. Yeah. That was the new guy mojo was not there. It was not. It was not there. Nineteen uh, nine, or two thousand. Tom Gordon. I mean, a respectable ERA for uh, for himself. And actually, I mean, surprisingly good record. I don't know what happened to this guy. All right. So then we move on to number two, which is a. Uh, Jeffrey Davis. Let's see what we got. Open. Open Sesame. Right, another uh, another relatively odd card. 20 out of 25 for the Dohairs. It's a Bowman's best card. It's uh, Sean Green. I want to say that that does not win either, but who knows? I mean, as of right now, that is the low, the low number. All right, this makes number three our winner's box. So we'll just set that there. 
out of uh, or so it'll stand up. You stay, you just hang on there. You just stay there, stay there. All right, number four, Kid AC. Four home runs in one game. That's impressive. Well, I mean, that's the other thing, too. Every single one of these players was an all star in their day. I mean, that is why it's called All Star Edition. Every single one was an all star, and that's not easy. This guy was a bloody all star. 12 out of 25. Number dips a little bit. Kurt Schilling. I ain't got no Kurt Schilling auto. I, are they covering up the bloody sock? Is that what his name is uh, Is down there? 2006. And 12 is our number to beat right now. Number 5 going to uh, Kate AC as well. You know, he is, I mean, he is a legend. He's a horrible businessman, but uh, but a legend. It's a good card. It's a good card. I mean, well, it's, I mean, it's already beside the fact, but he was an AL All-Star, DH, and outfielder. This card comes to you from 1980. It is Opeachy. It is a one of one Jim Rice auto. It's a good card. It's a good card. 1980. No David Ortiz in 1980. All right, so we're going to have to have a one of one. I mean, if, you, if somebody else gets a one of one, the, the Rice is not high on the list of potential. Potential winners. All right, six going to uh, Triple X. No, I mean, because we've seen more than one one on one in cases. So, again, it would go last name action. Another excellent, excellent player in his time. This time from Topps Gold Label. Nine out of ten. John Olerud. Excellent player in his time, and this is even like some uh, like some refractor ass uh, technology. I think that is a refractor. Even it's a good card, but not going to be our winner just yet. Seven is going to uh, Mr. Triple X as well. I see. I again like I. I wouldn't sell these. Like these would be more like something I would hang on to just for the for the love of it, you know. And we, oh, I got almost almost saw something. There. Wait, who is this? Is a, another good card. Two out of four. Stadium Club. Again, excellent, excellent player. Sandy Alomar. Sandy Alomar. Two out of four. Indians. Just, in, I mean, all, again, I don't know why I keep saying, like, all good players. Like, you don't become an all-star for, like, for no reason. All right, last shot. If this one doesn't, if this one doesn't do it, then Kate Acey is the uh, de facto winner of this, even with his last suit. Again, I did not like his team, but such such a good player. Four out of ten for the Mets. John Franco. I've got a small fistful of uh, his cards at uh, at the house too. All right, so now we can uh, go through and see what these other three possess. That's what I, uh, you know, I it's uh, I'm getting tired of hearing my own self say it. Okay, weird. Hello. Interesting. Interesting and odd all the way around. It's not even a card. It's not even a card. It's a buyback sticker. A buyback sticker. 
No, it's a guy that uh, that collects some stuff for us. One of one. So there's your there's your second Uno e Uno. Carl Yastrzemski. And I mean, for, for reals, it's a sticker. To collect your stickers, ask your dealer for the Topps baseball sticker album. Was not expecting that. I was not expecting that, but that's crazy. I think it's extra cool, kind of. I mean, even. It's weird. And damn, I mean, come on. You know, you think, you would think that that guy would, like, know that he's getting the picture taken, maybe get a comb or something, because that's a little unkempt. A little unkempt. Yeah, and that would, with the Yaz, would have, uh, would still have been in second place. The always popular, somebody get this listed right away, 14 out of 44, hat barely even staying on his head. I'm not sure how it is even right now. Omar Vizquel. Omar. It's, it's actually... Pretty hilarious. If you look at like the top twenty sold, like you know, by price cards for this stuff, it is Omar Vizquel and Andres Galarraga, and there is one Ken Griffey Jr. thrown into the uh, into the top of it. Uh, there's like there's like two or three of them that are the supers. Ooh. An even odder card. Well, not as odd as the sticker, but from an interesting set. Five out of 13. San Diego Padres. Tops Kids. Tony Fernandez. The I, I can't get enough of this stuff. I cannot get enough of it. Look at him in the back. Carrying all of those threes. Fun box. It's a fun box. I, I'm i so into this stuff. I am so into it in a probably an unhealthy way. So we had the 101 Jim Rice, a Kurt Schilling, the very, I think, cool Yastrzemski 101 sticker. A Viscal, the also cool Tony Fernandez. Sean Green, the Franco's a good card out of 10. The Tom Gordon, well, again, excellent player in his time, not uh, not super great. The John Olerud, very good card. And a Sandy Alomar, 2 out of 4. The, I mean, the, the, the cases as a whole, very nice. Very nice stuff. Thank you, everybody. We'll get these, get these right out to you. Or somebody will.